Hello and welcome to Boston, Massachusetts, home to the Freedom Trail, the heart of the American Revolution, and we are here to find out who will end their season on a high note as champions of the Fenway Bowl. Bowl games are not only a reward for how you played in the regular season, but can be a springboard into next year as well. As we'll see a squad from the ACC, a group with a lot to prove here today. Taking on the 19th ranked team in the land, the Navy Midshipmen. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. And he did a good job bobbing and weaving and finding a little bit of running room on that return. All right, guys, here's our first look at this offense today. And Snags a quick pass on the left. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. He'll pull it on the read. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And this is not the way they envision the opening drive going with the third and long coming up. Looking left. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. After the miss on third down, the punt team is on the field. He gets a block. Coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. The midshipman offense makes its way onto the field for their first possession of the game. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football. Trying play action. Well, the quarterback can make a big play when he starts moving around. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Nice job by the QB sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home, take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. Shoots it to the left. A strike downfield. And this defense is a half a beat behind. They just can't quite keep up. They've got it down to the 21. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. And get that ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. After the misfire now on second down. The give to the tailback. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. Navy quick to the line. They'll use the running game on first and goal. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Navy! The best running backs are the guys that can just sniff out the end zone. That running back showed you all of his freakish ability on that play. Try to add another to their lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And it was capped off with the eight-yard run. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Now he's just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Fast motion from the offense. Using his legs, it's Everett. They make the stop after a gain of three to the 31. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. 
They'll go right back to him. And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wants to throw on first down. Finds his big tight end. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. They'll throw it on first down. Into double coverage, and he picked it off. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. Some defensive players just have a knack. I mean, I've played with guys throughout the course of my career that you can't coach it. It's not speed. It's not strength. It's literally, I know when to break on the football, how to go get it. And the midshipman offense making its way back onto the field. On that last drive, defense had no idea what was happening. Run or pass, and it wound up in the end zone, Jesse. Yeah, and you saw the experience in this offense that last drive, too, on that touchdown. Everybody on the same page. These guys have repped these plays over and over in practice and in games, and it's working. Yeah, so I got to find a way to disrupt it. I got to find a way to maybe be more aggressive, maybe blitz, mess up this rhythm they got going. Takes a hit as he fires. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. After the incompletion, let's see if they go back to the air on second and 10 from the 33. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Not much there on the run. He gets one to the 31. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Finds his man. It's Morrison. They'd hope to be able to pick up enough after the catch, but a good stop leaves them with a fourth and short. Really good job by the defense being physical, understanding the situation in the game. The ball's going to come out quick. You know that. Go make the tackle. Force the fourth down. They spun that wheel of fortune on fourth down and come up bankrupt. Going to run it. It's Everett. One thing I've noticed from talking to coaches about their approach to bowl games is how many of them use it as a springboard for next season. They try to focus on developing some of the new guys, maybe, that have joined them for the bowl practices. I mean, you get 15-plus extra practices. You start to play and experience more as young guys. The older guys get a little bit more rest. But, yeah, you're building the future. You're Off to the races to the right. Pass to 30. And no one is going to catch him. Cruises into the end zone for a touchdown. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Lining up for the PAT. Splits the uprights. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the score comes with a quick strike up top, covering 79 yards. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And here comes the Navy offense. That last drive was promising at times, but stalled out, and they turned it over on downs, Jesse. I think they got to do a better job here, just being better early in the downs, on first down, finding positive downs. Yeah, and it's frustrating when you move the football and get stopped on the other side of the field and get no points, but they've had some success, and I like the aggressiveness. They just got to cash some of these drives in. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Back to throw, it's Blade. Fires to the wideout. Working the middle. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins the football. Navy quick to the line. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Jet sweep, trying to get the edge. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. From the gun, wants to pass. Find his big tight end. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. Navy is clicking on all cylinders right now. Wide out in motion. He'll come out throwing on first down. Using the quick game. Now, I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows, he can run slants, he can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. Across the 25, he's got room. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Now from inside the red zone. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. They are controlling the ball. Ninth play of the drive. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Got enough space. Into the hallelujah land. Touchdown midshipmen. Quarterback's abilities to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the time to be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone. That was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to win the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. An 84-yard drive there. And the score comes on a 17-yard throw for the touchdown. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Probably needed to pick up an extra block or two, but as it is, he'll be stopped at the 28. Time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. He wants to throw. On the move and looking deep. And that will fall incomplete as we have played one quarter, a quarter in which they tried to wrap it up with a huge play. At the end of the quarter, Navy has the lead. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He's looking for a man on second down. They'll run the screen. The emotions and energy figure to be high all day, guys, because of what's at stake this late in the season. Really a must-win for both teams. And these are the ones that get your blood moving, Reese. You get jacked up, man. They're, they're, we don't have to say anything in the locker room, give these big speeches. You know what's at stake, Jesse. You're ready to rock and roll. This is when you prove you're the big dog. Which is pretty cool, too, because it's been a long season. And these teams obviously are both physically and mentally tired, but you're right. For this kind of game, this is the one you circled at the start of the year. You knew that this was going to matter. There was going to be a lot on the line. Now it's time to go out and prove you're the better team. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Hold it, hold it, hold it, up and up and up and. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. First down for this offense. The give to the back. Oh, what a move. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the big fella. He's like a loose bowler, just caroms his way to the 32. And here comes play number six of the drive. It's a draw. Shakes off the defender. Offenses gain momentum with third down conversions like that. They've got it at the 25. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Grabbed behind the line. It's Everett. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. They're going to run it to the right. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. 
They've been really good moving the chains on third down. Now one yard away from another first down on this drive. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. They've been great on third down. Now to finish the deal on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he finds his way out of bounds. Real close to the goal line there, knocking on the door. And after that first down, Gasher, they're close to the end zone. Second and goal coming. And... Yes, he's in the end zone for the touchdown. And the running back was not going to be denied on that play. He had a hole. He saw it, put his foot in the ground, and that was Pater. Getting set for the point after. Bangs it through for an extra point. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard punch. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. And Navy will go back on the attack. The way this game started, you feel as if you have to score a touchdown every time you have it, and now we'll see if they can respond. Yeah, and I wonder how much pressure that puts on the offense. Jesse, like, you know this is back and forth. You know, I got to score, and every possession matters so much. What does that do to you as a quarterback? Well, it puts a lot more pressure on you for sure to feel like I got to make every third down throw. If guys are open vertically down the field, I got to hit them too. We can't let our serve get broken. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. You have some success with the bootleg, and now you got the defense on their heels a little bit in this run game because they're not sure who's got the ball. Is it going to be the running back? Is the quarterback booting and keeping it himself? Can you play action and maybe throw it? Nice job mixing and matching the play calling here offensively. David, given the fact that you are a devoted helmet head, I'm not sure that you're aware there are a lot of other festivities around the bowl game. Did you ever experience any of that? Of course I'm a helmet head. Yeah, spot on. Agree with that. But here's the thing. We did a meat-eating contest at the Outback Bowl my senior year. Which squad could eat more steak from Outback? It was absolutely amazing. So I experienced that in all of its glory. They're bringing heat. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. This defense, they are tenacious. And they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and then can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action. After the big first down sack for the D, it's second down. To the air, it's played. Zings it complete to the right. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. They'll snap it from the gun on third down. He's got his man. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down, they've got it at the 40. And it's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. Well, guys, bowl season is here. Always fun to get these non-traditional matchups that you don't see regularly. What do you guys remember about playing in a bowl? I think you remember all the moments throughout the season and throughout your career, and then it's the last time that you ever get these group of individuals together. You say goodbye to so many people, and it's kind of bittersweet, but always fun, Jesse, uh, to, do, uh, to dance with your boys one last time. But another thing, too, I love the swag bags, personally. I love getting the gifts. Yeah, I mean, to me, David, really, it was thinking about the tradition and history of these bowl games. I think that's one of the best things about college football. We're in an era today where bowl games don't matter as much as they did back when you and I played, but it was special. Throw into the end zone, and it's picked off. Who says defensive backs don't have hands? Nice job breaking on the football and making the catch. A lot of times you see guys swat it down, or you see them trying to catch it. It looks like they have two left hands. Defensive backs don't catch real well. Nice job breaking on the football. Nice job securing the INT and actually catching it.
First down here for the offense. He's going to pass. They're trying to get to it. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Man, it didn't take long for the defense to get home on that play. You see them playing man coverage in the back end, slowing down the routes from the receivers and the rest of the offense. That forced the quarterback to have to hold on to it for just a split second longer, and they were able to get the sack. They need something that goes forward this time on second and long from the 14. He's looking to throw. Gets it out fast. The ball's free. Oh, looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Now, this is a receiving group that practices making catches in traffic, and they're used to having guys trying to rip it free. He's got to do a better job of keeping five points of pressure after he makes the catch. That's a costly giveaway. And the midshipman offense making its way back onto the field. That last possession, a prime example, Jesse, of how things get condensed in the red zone. Hard to throw when the windows are smaller, and that's what happens down near the goal line, David. But for this quarterback here, just take accountability and ownership and come out here and lead your offense. And move on. Like, we needed points. That's something that we can harp on. We'll watch the tape this week, but now it's time to move on. Let's get another drop down. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Looking to throw, it's played. Quarterback extends the play. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Navy! And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground. Take the lead going into the half. Take all the momentum. Nice execution of the drive by that offense. Try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with the score from the four. He'll bring it out from inside his own ten. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. They'll get this drive going from the 17. They'll throw it on first down. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots. You read the quarterback's eyes. Make sure you take away that quick stuff. And a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. If they have any intention of getting this drive going, they better come up with something on second and long from the 10. He's looking to throw. Got his man downfield. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Reese, hard not to enjoy that incredibly historic town. What a fun time to be in Boston, and what a fun first half we've had in the Fenway Bowl. And if you thought that was a quick first half, you'd be right on the money. An offensive showcase, yes, but it's been those dynamic running backs who have set the pace. I'm curious to find out if this ground-and-pound approach is going to continue into the second half, or if one of those defenses will actually show some pride. With that said, let's send it back to Reese and the fellas for the conclusion of the Fenway Bowl. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Off play action on first down. Unloads to the wide out. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. That'll be a gain of five out to the 27. Navy quick to the line. Looking for a man. It's Blade. They're working that left side. It's a game of first downs, and they've got one out to their own 37. Fresh set of downs after the completion. 
He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. He wants to throw here on second down. He'll try to do it himself. Still on his feet at the 45. Nifty little scamper on this one. And up for the first down. And he slides in safely. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. Shakes off the tackler. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all right after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to put, have push passes when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead and coming around the ball. third and short they'll ride the running back here they've got it just outside the red zone they'll move the chains it's at the 21 touch pass on the run that's what you expect from a senior don't give them any extra yards great tackle there navy lifts anchor in the red zone Wide receiver shows motion. Quick pass on the jet motion. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Facing third and long from the 21 and hoping not to settle for a field goal. To the air, it's played. Unleashes one deep. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. They'll send out the kicker to try to salvage this drive. It is true as he puts three on the board. And that lead grows even bigger. drive and he takes this from inside the five he was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20 they'll snap it from the 20 for the opening play of this drive oh he had him right down the middle and it just squirted right through his fingers and they miss an opportunity for a nice play on first down They'll run it from the gun. Running hard and getting six yards out to the 26. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive. Trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. From the gun, he'll try to throw for it on third down. It's caught. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown. That was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Looking for room. It's Everett. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Trying to pick up a first down. Wants to throw on third. Throws to the wideout. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chain. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. Coverage team does a good job. Touches it dead. No return on this one. And here comes the Navy offense. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake. 
but maintain your aggressive play calling. Yeah, no doubt. And I think it's for the play caller right now, just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here, Ben. Yeah, and just keep moving the ball down the field, just execute a little bit better in the red zone. There's no need to panic. We're moving the football, and we got the lead. third and long and he'll try to throw for it didn't have much of a choice just had to throw that one away it'll be fourth down navy will have to punt it away first time we've seen their punt team this afternoon and they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive so we'll see this offense make its way out to start the drive he's looking to throw it and that pass is intercepted. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Timing has to be so good. You're throwing in his own defense over the middle of the field. The ball's got to come out specifically on time because these windows close really quickly. Ball there thrown a little bit late. As a result, it's an INT. And Navy will go back on the attack. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. And there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. Oh, it's a reverse. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. On third down, he drops to throw. Fires to the right. Got him downfield. This defense giving up ground as he's finally knocked down at the 26. Here comes Navy back to the line after picking up the first down. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. And now on second down for this offense. Dropping back, it's Blade. Fires to the wideout. Oh, picked off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And the senior just took that one out of the air and sends it the other way. And we know turnover margin is a huge part of winning ball games. Interception number two. The quarterback has to do a better job taking care of the football. Don't force it. Take the high completion percentage stuff. Don't always try to go for the big play. Let's see what this offense has dialed up this time. single back formation and they give it to it good solid run on that one as he gets it up to the 33 yard line good spot after that seven yard pickup on first down it's second and three makes his man miss and a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play running back searching for a hole and just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. After picking up a couple at second and eight. It's a draw. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down or else they are really in trouble. From the gun, wants to pass. And he throws his third pick of the day. His head has to be spinning. They're backed up. First and ten from inside their own five. Let's see if they can create some space. Looking for a crease. It's Flanagan. And a good south football. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Buying some time. It falls incomplete, and we'll change ends of the field to get things started back up. Third down play to get the quarter started. From the gun, wants to pass. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical down.
looking to move it through the air. Quickly out to the tight end. They make the stop. And they're going to try to tackle everybody in bounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. Last completion, but it's third down. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They make the stop, and this running game moves the chain down. To the air on first down. Fires to the big fella. Didn't pick up a look to the sideline, or you're not getting past the sticks. This defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play. The offense pops it up, and they were on the move. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And then I love it. Shipman offense making its way back onto the field. These last couple of drives, Jesse, have been about the defense making clutch stand. I think for this offense, they can stay aggressive knowing that their defense is going to bail them out time and time again. Yeah, and especially when you go for those fourth down situations, you do that a lot of times because you know your defense can make stands, make stops. They did on that last possession for you. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Navy quick to the line. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. Navy will have to punt it away. They'll look to pin him deep. On the return, it's Everett. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shot. And now the offense will come onto the field again. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Tight end finds a soft spot. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. That's quite a start to a drive, and now they'll snap it from midfield. Going up top on first down. Deep shot for the end zone. Makes the catch and gets the score. Before that score, considering last rights, now all of a sudden, they're not dead yet. In fact, they're feeling much better, and they're alive, and they've got a chance. And I'm looking on the field right now. I'm looking at their sideline. They're energized, Reese. After that last score, all of a sudden, they believe they can come back and win this game. This is a totally different-looking team than what we saw earlier. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside the 10, here he comes. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And here comes the Navy offense. They still have the lead here, Jesse, but this would be a good time to put together a drive. You're right, Reese. You can't rest easy right now. You just watch the opponent drive down the field and score a touchdown of their own. So you've got to answer that here. Your playmakers better step up. And I don't know what it is about momentum. In all the locker rooms, in all the years, coaching, everything, you can't quantify it. You can't measure it. And the momentum has swung to the other side. You've got to get it back. They get to the line quickly. Scanning the field, it's Blade. Looking to take a shot. Holds it in on the left. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. Nice job executing the four-minute offense. You know, they practice this throughout the week. Having a lead late in the game, running plays, 
to just get enough to get first downs to stay on the field, and they are executing this four-minute offense to perfection. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. They'll keep it on the ground to keep this clock moving. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll run it from the gun. Open space at the 25. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Here comes Navy back to the line after picking up the first down. He leaves it with his back. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. The offense calls a timeout to stop the clock. Defense showing blitz. Will they bail out of it? Got three on first down. It's second and seven. They'll run the counter. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And that's exactly what you would expect from this offense. Listen, when you're in that one to two minute range and you've got the football and you got a lead, it's smash mouth. It's keep that clock running. It's ground game. So interesting now on this third down, what they do next. But we got to keep that clock moving. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fitted in a tight window. And the quarterback takes a knee. You're going to hear guys after this game say, got to work harder, got to be more intense. You know, sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. And it seemed to me that's what happened out there today. Yeah, it just never really got into a rhythm for this team. There's no doubt they've got a lot of very talented players on both sides of the ball. So, David, I don't think this is a situation where they need to now freak out and try to reinvent things on either side of the football. Just being in better rhythm early and trying to find that in their next game, I think, would go along. Yeah, and it's just finding a couple of those plays. What, what do I do really, really well? Let's continue to build on that. Let's take away these negative plays. Let's take away these turnovers.